everybody! Thanks for watching the Mayesh Design Star video series. Today I'm here to talk about how to sell garden style arrangements in a retail environment. I'm here today with, with four garden style arrangements that we actually sell at our shop, Colonial House of Flowers. I have a single bud vase. Um, we also have the next size up, which would be small. We have a medium and also a large garden style vase. Um, each of the, the arrangements are basically made from the same flowers, so it's easy for me or for another designer in, in the shop to create an arrangement that goes out that all, they all have the similar aesthetic. I'm gonna make the medium garden style arrangement for you today. Here is, a, is our wire, egg, pillow, ball, whatever you wanna call it. This is how we got started. You can get the, the netting from Oasis. It's called Oasis Wire Netting. It comes in a spool, and it's what you hear people refer to as chicken wire. It's really not because it is plasticized around the edge, and, um, and this is very important so that it's smooth when your flowers slip into your container. And you just clip along the sides with wire cutters, and then you put it together with the ends just as simple as you think it is. There's no magic here. There's no certain size either. Um, this is just an alternative to the to the Oasis Brick, which is, um, it's a great product and we have to use the Oasis Brick a lot in our work, but it is petroleum based and um, so it's not biodegradable. And um, this is just a biodegradable answer, plus it uses less product, it's less expensive than the brick and it's a great alternative to the tape grid. For us, we found that sometimes when water would spill out and transport, because we, we transport, a, a lot of our events are really big, um, and sometimes when the tape gets wet, sometimes it comes apart. So this is just a surefire way. So you fill your container up with water. I'm gonna start, like usual, with my greenery. Some good greenery um, selections for the garden style arrangements that are durable and last a long time are Iliagnus or Russian tea olive. Eucalyptus is always great. Some other good greenery for garden style arrangements is Camellia. This is maidenhair fern and this is regular olive. Sometimes it's fruited, it depends on the season. If it's fruited, it has cute little olives that come on it. But um, you can order all of this from Mesh. Um, usually, I think it's best to, to try to stay seasonal. For instance, the olive, if it's out of season, it's just, um, it's really dry and brittle. If you work in this world, you probably know that. But rather than tell Kelly, oh, I, I have to have olive, I just tell her I want a seasonal green within this aesthetic, and she, she has a good idea of what really looks good in the cooler. With the garden style arrangement, what we tried to do is to, to keep a pretty neutral palette because we think it's really uh, appealing to the most people. We also try to focus on good product, which means good floral product, and also um, good, good farms, good wholesalers, and uh, good containers. Right here, we have a cylinder vase, a hob knob. This is our answer to the mason jar. We call it the jam jar on our website. This is the humble vase and this is the Delia. We like for people to have containers that they can keep after rather than just a, a tr expected El Cheapo clear vase. We like something a little different. If it is a clear vase, um, what we do is we tie it with double-sided satin ribbon and then our, we have a little, a little signature tag. Fox gloves are great to use in a garden style arrangement, and also we use a lot of snapdragons. It really just depends on the season. This is a, a, a line flower, and you can pick it out just in the palette, even if it's, if it's yellow or if it's white or if it is um, pink. They, they all complement each other so much that it's, it's really easy. You really can't go wrong. Well, our shop's been in business for 50 years, since 1968, but when we decided to rebrand, it was like five years ago, and we got a marketing study done. We found that our shop, the competition was um, not another floral shop, that our competition was the grocery stores, which one is located right across the street from our shop. Um, there are several other 
flower shops in our area, and all of them are really good at what they do. So what we were forced to do was to find our USP, which is our unique selling position, um, and or some people call it a blue ocean, some people call it a purple cow, but we had to find that one thing that we really made us different and really focus on it. And the garden style arrangement is is part of what we found that we felt like is is us and it makes us different from the grocery store and from the other florists around town. Ranunculus are always really good to use in a flower arrangements um, or in the garden style flower arrangements. Um, if, he, if he has a stem like this, although this might make an awesome centerpiece, in, a guard, in, in your regular day to day I would take a wire and run it up through the bottom so that he'll stand up straight. This is Feverfew. This is another great, um, it's kind of an alternative to the, the standard classic daisy, but it is a daisy. Some other good uh, roses to use in your daily arrangements are the, this is the bikini, this is the free spirit, and we also use the Julie Ann. Because of price, there's usually only room for about one if it's a Julie Ann. We do, we use the free spirits every single day and also the bikinis. I'd say the last thing that we put in most every garden arrangement would be um, our tulips. And again, we just go around. It's a little bit different from a compote or a centerpiece style. Um, we go all the way around and just do one, two, three. One of the hardest things to do is to make the garden style profitable for your shop, and I think a lot of people struggle with it, but that is part of it is to really simplifying it where there's not a whole lot of labor, so every single one isn't custom. Um, it's just priced out with your flowers. And some of the flowers that I really, that I recommend for the garden style arrangements are the Chippendale, also like this scabiosa, which is pink. Um, anemones are fabulous. The, the roses are great. Um, poppy pods are great flowers to use in garden style arrangements. They're very hardy. Any sort of protea is great. The godacea is really awesome and it opens a lot more than this um, too. It's a long lasting flower. I think I'll put one of those in. But, th but this is it. This, is, um, this would be a medium arrangement, medium to large, um, in our shop. The only way that we would finalize it would be to put on a piece of ribbon. We cut one yard, typically, for a medium arrangement. And then finally, we put on our famous Colonial House Square. Uh, this just started out in the shop. We were trying to look for a way to, to brand our shop and we wanted people went to take pictures of it and to, to send it to us. We wanted to see where our flowers went. They're able to share it. Like if they share it on social media, everyone knows where it came from. We can also see it. Their friends can see it. Um, people ask them where they got it from and it's got the cute little label with it. Finally, I will spray this down with our, with our sealing agent. It helps keep it moist for the customer and helps it last longer. And that's part of what we sell. It's, um, a long-lasting flower arrangement. So to, to close out, there are four things that I think will help you if you have a flower shop that sells garden style arrangements. One is the pricing. Price for profit. Price it when it comes in the door and um, price it on the floor. Price for profit. Also, um, your product selection. Make sure you are using premium product from premium farms and also using premium containers. Also, um, photos. Uh, we uh, take a lot of photos in our shop, not just professional photos, but also candid photos. And we put those into our Instagram so people know what they are buying or we can show our customers when they walk in the door. And then finally, um, we have a do-it-yourself section um, where we allow our customers to come in and actually go into the cooler and pick out the flowers. And nine times out of 10, they will always gravitate to the high-end um, flowers if they're pulling it themselves and also they pick out the containers themselves we had our we do have our containers lined up on the wall so they can pick out the container for a certain price 
then they can go into the cooler and even pick out the flowers. We design them for them, and um, they seem to be really pleased at the at the end because they 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 hand selected all the all the uh, ingredients in the in the whole recipe for the product. Thanks for watching the Mayesh Design Star video series, and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful.